he's trying to demean me and my work for some odd reason is just so suspect as to why he's doing this after not speaking to me for several years and then all of a sudden just coming out and attacking me and this is like supposed to be a big deal or something to him i i don't know why it's a big deal but he's making it a big deal hey aloha everyone and aloha anki 35. um actually i'm not trying to demean you at all whatsoever and like I said, I'm not even actually mad at you. I'm only mad that you're unwilling to face the truth. As a person, sure, I like you. I don't have anything against you. Um, but to say that I have something out for you is just completely um, wrong because the truth is, as you have admitted here, that you made a video years ago about me. So you started it, actually. Think about it. You're the first one to laugh and tease and assume that I'm so stupid and ignorant. I'm not saying you're completely an evil, rude person, not whatsoever. You're very polite and you're trying to explain yourself, and I, I grasp that. But the problem is, is that you don't grasp the overall truth. And you assume that I'm coming and attacking you, when actually I'm just defending your attack. In fact... Let's take a look and see who started this, because you're, you're going on and on about, you know, why am I doing all this? Uh, sweetheart, I didn't do nothing. It was you who started it. Let's watch the video where you make it a big deal about the calf. When I was just speaking, uh, you know, it was just a brief word in my long paragraph. <laughs> And you seemed to make a big deal about it and stopped and highlighted it and and specifically stated that Marduk is not related to the solar deity, nor is he related to the calf or the bull whatsoever. And that was your whole statement why you stopped and why we're still here talking about it. And I've proven beyond a doubt that I was correct. But let's continue. Bull was. Was Marduk a solar horse? LOL. No. He was the solar calf. I'm going to stop right there. He was the solar calf. No, Marduk is not even a sun god. Marduk is not a solar calf. Um, as far as Marduk being a solar calf, no, he is not a solar calf because Marduk has been related as the son of Enki or Anki and that means he is a first tier god and that is why he is not a solar calf he is not a sun god never has been a sun god that was just the discrepancies with the writers and the priestly sources that they were writing to try to intertwine but due to the fact that Anki is his father, a first-year god. That so, as you clearly see, it was you who stopped and chose and picked a certain subject within my paragraph that you assumed I was wrong about. And it turns out that you're actually wrong. So, let's take a look and examine that. Um, you first stated that it's not he's not related to the sun, he's not the solar calf. Well, let's look at the pantheon of Sumer. And what do we find? They were all bull gods, as you even admitted. So you dispute that he is the solar calf, and that's why you stopped your video and you basically, you know, went to educate everyone and me that I was so wrong. Well, it turns out that you're absolutely wrong, and you just weren't aware that he was the solar calf. That's the problem. So. I proved that Marduk is a solar calf by showing you all of the sources that you required and requested. And I was 100% correct. But you're trying to say that, oh, I originally said that because Amar Utu, the sun god, excuse me, the um, um, Marduk is not the sun god and the solar calf. So his name was corrupted with the new people who uh, took over the land and blah 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 right right so you said his name came from Ashur well then I showed you the god Ashur is the same bull 
the winged solar disk of the sun bull. The ancient Assyrians, I mean, this whole area worshipped the bull and the calf as the sun and the lunar moon. And all of the Levant, ancient Mesopotamia, Sumer. And you're going to sit here and not realize that with all of the books you've read throughout your life. Why would you not understand and grasp the simple concept? So, not only have I proven that Marduk was a solar calf, I have proven that Ashur, who you said his name came from, is also the winged bull, which I'm going to get back into later and, and explain all of this, by the way, of what it all really means with the Bible included that you simply don't grasp. But, um, the Ashur is also the winged solar sun disk bull, and Marduk was the solar calf of Utu. Now I'm going to show you exactly that you went on and on for so long to show you that Anki is his father and he's a first tier god and all that. Really? Well, let's look at a published author and what the professionals say about the interpretations of Sumer. Who is Anki? He is B. Gotten, birthed from the wild bull. So, like I said, the entire Sumerian pantheon of gods were the ancient bull gods, which all stemmed from the primordial aspect of the serpent dragon goddess of the abyss, which I'll get back to. But the entire reason that Marduk is a solar calf is he comes from the ancient ancestors of Anshar, Anu, and Inky and Enlil and etc etc because they were all bull gods as I have clearly stated and proven with sources. Case closed. Um, he's trying to tell his subscribers that Marduk is the bull calf of the sun which is a conjecture. Um, it's called a speculation. Seriously you're gonna try to play that card? Come on. The truth is all, or actually you know, show me any of the gods, that the name is not disputed with conjecture. Come on. That's just freaking ridiculous. So the name Marudutuk would actually um, mean something more like the son of the storm. So. Okay, I, can, I just can't take this anymore. I got to explain the entire thing to you. It's just killing me. All of the reborn again sons that came from rejuvenation gods were always the ones that took on the power of their father the god so the son s-o-n and s-u-n are synonymous the child the offspring of spring of march of mars marduk the duke of march which has to do with the astrological equinox of springtime when life is reborn again which is why all of these gods like I said are related to the storm god of of old you'll notice that their right hands are raised which is why Marduk has his right hand raised with his thunderbolt in his hand just like Zeus just like images of El just like Thor and any any other god in history that you want to research you'll see that their right hand is raised they're the ones of the the storm and weather because we're talking about nature and the seasons of the annual year winter and summer night and day so jesus is zeus zeus is yahweh you know yahweh is bael it's all the same that's why you're talking about enlil taking over uh, or marduk taking over enlil and you know you just don't seem to grasp that all of these different gods did not exist whatsoever. It's the concept of the father and the mother and having an offspring. That is eternal life. So that's why Yahweh is known as, you know, God of the storm. So is Jesus. So is Zeus. So is Thor. All the sons of the great God. The great God is always, you know, overtaken. And the new God is the one with all those powers now and takes over. What's funny is, what do you think creates storms? <laughs> the sun creates all of our storms on Earth, first of all, okay? The weather, weather patterns, 
everything is all created because of the angle of the sun upon earth but anyway um i want to explain some really deep concepts to you that you're not seeing it's like why you said enlil created the lights the sun and the moon really isn't that funny that the bull god enlil created the sun and the moon and the lights when the bull god of the bible also created the sun the moon and the lights anyway um my point is that all creation myths all began began with the primordial abyss of the chaos waters if you're going to egypt the levant greece uh, even today germanic whatever you're going to have the same story of the primordial waters usually of the goddess the black abyss and then you have the serpent or the dragon the next step is the gods the bull gods of earth egyptian the levant care if you go to native americans you want to go to greece rome even today in the story so that's why the bible is all about the red heifer calves and bulls and etc etc which i'll be proven in a whole different video it takes an entire video just for that but you see the aspects of the serpent be proven in a whole different video it takes an entire video just for that but you see the aspects of the serpent and the bull or the calf is the primordial essence of the sun go back to egypt what is the sun god ra look around the sun disc what do you see the serpent you can go to aztec South America, where you have the feathered serpent of the sun. So, I can go on and on. You see that I'm 100% right, and that's exactly why I was stating that Marduk, in passing, was just is a solar calf, and it's because he comes from the lineage of solar calf. And you're saying, oh, no, he means the son of the storm. You're just, I mean, you're out in left field. You're not even listening and understanding and grasping the entire concept. All of these ancient stories are about the season of summer and winter, the harvest. This is, these are all creation stories that relate the human aspects of life with the anthropomorphic characters of the zodiac wheel. So when we're looking at the ancient Shedu, the Malach, which is the angel, uh, in Assyrian times, you want to see the winged bull with bull's feet and a body of a lion. All this that people just don't grasp, the four attributes. It's the crossing of the zodiac wheel, which is why I've explained this many times before. That's why the angel of the Bible is the exact same thing as the head of the bull, the head of the human, head of the eagle, the wings of the eagle, and the lion body. Or the head of the lion because it represents the four quadrants which i've explained so many of times it's so basic to grasp this concept now that i've explained it for years i've seen other people out there finally catching on and understanding what it really means and there's people out there that think that symbol of the winged bull of babylon is you know the devil and all this kind of stuff which is where the concept comes from as well it's ignorance completely it was a zoo zodiac Zoroaster, it's the zoo, animal, sun, ra, star, or the asters. That's why in the Bible story, <laughs> you have the son of God, who is born in a stable or a manger, which is an animal house of the zoo, diac wheel, zoo, dia. On and on I can go, but I'm not going to reveal any more about that. I just want to state that the sun and the moon is the premise behind all of these ancient stories. When we look at ancient Babylon, the ancient um, battles of the grains, the battles of summer and winter. Anyway, so Jupiter, who is Zeus, okay, Jupiter is Zeus, the planet Jupiter, which overtook the planet Saturn as the ruler. 
okay? So his number is four. That's why Thor's day is the fourth day of the week. Thunder, Thor's day. Yeah, Ba'el. So four, that's why there's four rings. When you go look up Ashur, you'll see the four rings surrounded by the center ring. Uh, Ezekiel's wheel, it is the four attributes of the four seasons. <laughs>